a Christmas decorate with me. How exciting is that? I am 100% in the Christmas spirit, ready to decorate. We already have a tree up. We'll talk about that more in just a second. Um, but I'm so ready. So very ready. When we got home from church today, I went ahead and took down our fall things, packed that up. Justin and Audrey are actually gone right now to take the fall things to storage and get our Christmas things out. And then we're going to decorate. I'm ready to have everything decorated, enjoy the beautiful lights of the Christmas tree, and just have it done so that, um, you know, I don't, I don't really have to think about it a whole lot with baby boy coming in a few weeks. I'm really thinking that he'll come after Christmas. I don't foresee him coming before Christmas, but it's one of those things where, I don't know, I just want to have it done. Uh, we're also going to finish up our Christmas shopping in the next week or two, and that will be done. And we can just enjoy the last few weeks of pregnancy into Christmas and then be ready to welcome a new baby. We don't really go overboard with the shopping and stuff anyway, but uh, the gifts and stuff that we do want to get, we want to go ahead and get it done. And we're going to get it done in the next couple of weeks. So like I said, just enjoy that last little bit of pregnancy, Christmas time, and then coast into welcoming our, our new little one. I've also kind of been going back and forth on how much we're going to decorate. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Part of me is like, don't overdo because you're probably going to have a newborn when you're taking these things down. And then Justin also said, you know what, just put up however much you want. A day or two after Christmas, I'll go ahead and help just take everything down. That way everything is down and put up before baby's born. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how much we decide to do. There's a, a bit of me that's like, just decorate, but don't go overboard. That way it's not too much on you when it comes time to put it up. So I mentioned that we have our Christmas tree up. Audrey and I put that up yesterday. The Christmas tree that we have had the last few years, it was a flocked tree, but it also had like these little crystals on it. Oh, and anytime a kid would bump it, a cat would bump it, just for the heck of it, those little crystals would fall off. You could hear them just like, ding, 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 ding hitting the floor. It was a mess all the time. And so when we moved, we got rid of that. And this tree was sent to us. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about that real quick and then we'll get into decorating. When the kids saw this box show up on the porch and hey, me too, they were so excited because they knew right away that it was a Christmas tree. Just by looking at the box, Cosway sent us this tree to use and to share about. And I've worked with Cosway before, so I was happy to work with them again. And like I mentioned, we did need a new tree because when we moved, we donated the other tree that we had because it made such a mess. And look, y'all, this one does not do that. The flocking on the tree stays on it. Now, there was a little bit of a mess just pulling it out of the box for the first time opening it up and fluffing it for the first time but not much and just what we've been using it day to day the kids kind of bumping into it cats bumping into it it has not shed a lot and made a mess which is something this mama really appreciates and it's beautiful this tree is a six foot tree and it's a perfect size for this space. I wanted to make sure we put a tree up in the living room. You'll see we end up deciding to also put one in the den, but I wanted one here in the living room, but I didn't want it to take up a lot of space because the kids do play in this area a lot. So this was the perfect size and it's looking really nice in this space and where we have it. I will make sure to put a link down in the description box if you want to check out this tree or what else they have to offer you can click on that link so we have not had our christmas things out in two years because last christmas we were at my mother-in-law's waiting to get into this home so yeah last year we didn't get any of our christmas things out i don't think we just used her things and decorated at her house so I'm excited to be able to pull our things out again, but I know, I feel like we had to get rid of a few things. Like I know we got rid of our other Christmas tree, but for some 
reason, I'm thinking something was wrong with the skirt, too. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be in one of these boxes. Wyatt, do we want to put up two Christmas trees? Here I was talking about going minimal, and I think I've convinced myself to put up two Christmas trees. T took me all of about two blowing kisses. Took me all of about two seconds to be like, yeah, let's do two trees. One with the kids, like, homemade decorations on it, and one with our, like, fancier you want to call it that decorations we'll see not that we really do a whole lot of fancy around here and the kids homemade decorations are my favorite by far This nativity scene is something that Justin and I have had since we got married. And sometimes I will see other nativity scenes and things in stores. And I'm like, maybe it's time we replace it or update it. And then I'm reminded that no, no, no. This is such a special piece to us. And it's something that we will always put up year after year after year. Um, it's very, very special to me. And one of the main parts of our Christmas decorations and it always brings back so many sweet memories to put this up. Now, I mentioned that the second tree you're going to see us put up here in just a minute that has all the kids' ornaments on it. I mentioned how special those ornaments were to me, and they are. But, y'all, this tree has a lot of really special ornaments on it as well. Like that one that Justin just hung up. That's from our very first Christmas. And every year since, we have added an ornament to the tree as a family, all the way to that little red truck right there, which is what we picked out as a family last year those ornaments that have special meaning or make me think of someone those are my favorites So at the front of the house with the new tree, we decided to go with more neutral colors and I used a lot of 
like my black and white buffalo check you'll see I put a little bit of that back here in the den as well I may move it not sure yet but back here we decided to stick to more of the red and green traditional the brighter colors the tree with the bright colorful lights on it and just make it really fun and bright and colorful for the kids Going through this box of kids' ornaments, we found some of mine and Justin's old ornaments we made as kids, and then some like this one right here that came from Justin's great-grandmother. Now, our decorating definitely took place over several days. Uh, we had to, we actually had left some boxes at storage and had to go back and get them. So, all this decorating you're seeing took place over several days in <laughs> getting it all put up and put together like we wanted it. Okay, so like I mentioned, this decorating has happened over several days. Um, but I think we've got things like we like it. It's pretty minimal, but uh, it, it just, it feels nice. It doesn't feel cluttered, and we definitely have that Christmas spirit going <laughs> up in here. So, let me show you kind of what we've done in the few areas that we decorated. So here in our living room up at the front of the house, we went with more neutral colors and we've got our new tree while it's over there looking at the ornaments. The only things I bought new this year were tree skirts and I just got plain red tree skirts. You'll see one on this tree and on the other one. I don't know where our others went. They have disappeared somewhere in moving. And we tried to use that gift box right there and set the tree in it, but it was just a little bit too small. It didn't fit quite right. So the tree skirts are the only new things that I bought this year. Absolutely adoring this tree and the look and the feel that it gives this area. I like the way the lights are on it. We've got lots of special ornaments in here on this tree. I think I've already shown you a few of them. Our first Christmas. This is one of the first ornaments that Justin and I got as well. So is this one that says Noel. I really like to decorate, especially around Christmas time with red birds, with cardinals. It's really special to me. So there's several of those ornaments here on the tree. There's another one right back there. There's one sitting up here by our little red truck that we got last year. And he likes to find all the ornaments that make noise. <laughs> usually, so this ribbon here, each one of those is an individual piece of ribbon. And usually I take them and tuck them in the tree. But I decided just to put those on top of this tree this year. And on our table right beside the tree, we have our nativity scene. And we always put that Go Tell It on the mountain sign beside it. I got that at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. Then just a little something over here on the piano. I took some gold tool that I had, put our little red truck up there, and this nativity scene. Pretty sure that was my mama's. So that's what we have up here on top of the piano. Here on the freezer in the dining room area, we've just put our cookies and milk for Santa stuff. My mom had that made for us a couple of years ago. And our countdown. So the kids, these are magnetic, and they'll be able to count down the days until Christmas. And then on Christmas Day, they'll put the star 
on top. And that's all I've put over here. I haven't done any decorating in the kitchen and I go back and forth on that. I may, if I do, I'll do a separate video of that. But I'm, I'm thinking maybe we'll just not decorate the kitchen and leave it like it is. Maybe I'll do some stuff on my little tiered tray. Just keep it real, real simple. I don't know, we'll see. Here in the den is where we went with the more colorful stuff. We've got all the kids' ornaments on this tree over here. This is a tree we've had for a couple of years, and you can actually change the lights. You can do uh, white lights, colored lights. You can make them blink or just stay still. And we've gone with the colored lights and all of their ornaments. We also always hang candy canes on the tree. They've got the candy canes hung on there. We always have so much fun pulling out these ornaments and especially these that have pictures on them. Look at little Easton. I had that red and green garland. We just kind of put that up on the mantle. I do have some of more, my more like black and white kind of stuff back here just because I wanted something else up on the mantle. And this right here, this tree, where are we at? Right there. It actually has some battery powered lights on it, but we snitched the batteries out of it for the remote <laughs> the other night. So I gotta get some more batteries to uh, to put in that. And then our stockings, and y'all, that's something that I always go back and forth on. I always wanna get us pretty matching stockings with our names on it, but the kids always get so excited about these character stockings. Now I will say, Audrey and Easton this year, did not choose character stockings. Justin and I, Justin and I usually always use these stockings. That one's his, this one's mine. And then we just have a bunch of other stockings that we let the kids choose from every year. And this year, Audrey picked this one. Easton picked this one. And then um, Hudson and Wyatt, they picked out the character stockings. And like I said, I just, I really want to get matching stockings. But then I see their excitement when they see those cute character ones and want to hang them up. So, I don't know. I don't know. Will we keep doing the character stockings or will I decide to get matching stockings? We'll see. For now and probably for this year, we're going to let them have their fun stockings. And you know what? That's fine. That's what it's all about is them enjoying it and having a good time. Also put a few Christmas books up here. I've also got a few of just our other signs and things we had up here. Let me turn the fireplace on for you and give it that extra cozy feel in here. This is what it looks like sitting over here in the recliner. You've got the Christmas tree and the fireplace and it just feels nice and feels like the holiday season. Feels like Christmas time. I definitely don't claim to be a professional decorator by any means. And most of what we did, we just let the kids do. You know, we pulled out what we had and let them decorate. And yeah, that I'm, I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. I want my home to be a place that I enjoy being and makes me feel comfy and cozy and happy this time of year. Um, but I want the same thing for my kids too and to see their excitement. It just, it makes my heart happy. That's going to be all for this one. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.